In this chapter, we're going to be looking at financial services. In this lesson, we're going to look at simple interest. All right. Hi, everybody. So in this lesson, we're going to look at simple interest. Now, let's just talk about this really quickly here. What interest is, it's the cost of using money. Okay. So when the, for example, when the bank lends you money, they charge you interest. That's the, the fee that you pay for borrowing the money. Now, if you invest money, if you give money to the bank, okay, interest is the money that you earn when the bank basically lends out your money to other people and then they pay you uh, for letting them letting them do that. Okay. So simple interest is interest that's calculated only on the initial amount of money that was either borrowed or deposited. So let's say, for example, that you deposit a thousand dollars and it's in there for for several years. Even years later, when the when the money has grown, you're still only getting paid interest on that initial amount of money. So it's like this: it's the same amount of money that gets put in every time you calculate the interest. That's it. Okay. It doesn't it doesn't vary. So. So the key terms you need to know here is when we're working with this is the principal amount is the initial amount of money. That's either what you invested or what you borrowed. Principal is the, is the initial amount. The term is going to be the length of time which, over which the money is borrowed or deposited. Okay, However many years, months, weeks, whatever. The rate, uh, is that's going to be the, the interest rate. That's the percentage okay, of the total that you're going to be given. Now, you're often going to see it as a as a per annum interest rate. Okay, so it's this many percent per annum and that means per year. And often what we're going to do is we're going to have to adjust that time to to fit whatever time frame that we're working with. So, here's the formula that we're going to use. Simple interest is going to equal the principal multiplied by the rate. Now, bear in mind that's that's a percentage, so we're going to have to convert that into a decimal. And then multiplied by a a a time as long as the time is is in terms of years, the same unit that the rate will be in. Okay, rate will be typically per annum, so your time frame here also has to be per annum. So now we're going to take a look at a handful of questions here. But before we do, just one other little detail to add to that. When you get questions that are going to ask you for the total amount of money, bear in mind that that formula that we just gave here only gives you the, the interest. It doesn't add them together. So basically, if you want the total, what you need to do is take the principal and then add the principal multiplied by the rate times the time. So you need, you need to put those two pieces together. Okay. So just once again, that formula, that, that I equals PRT, that is just the interest. It does not tell you how much money is either... In the, in the account or, or how much you now owe if you're borrowing. Okay, so in this example here, we have Ralph and he wants to invest $4,000 in an account that offers simple interest at a rate of 3% per annum and he invests his money for two years. So how much interest will he earn? Okay, well interest is going to be his principal multiplied by his rate and then the time here. So the principal is $4,000 now his rate is going to be 3% per annum, but we're going to convert that into a decimal. So 3% is 0 0.03. And then for two years, okay, we just multiply by two, and that works because it's in years, and so that's good. And so what we get here is he's going to earn $240 in interest. So at the end here, how much money will he have? Well, his total is going to be equal to his principal plus his interest. So that's going to be 4,000 plus 240. So he will have at the end there $4,240. All right. In this question, we read Nora is investing 9,000 in a simple interest account at a rate of 1.5% per annum for three years. How much interest will she earn? Okay. Well, she is going to earn, our interest is going to be PRT, so 9,000 multiplied by our rate and again I got to convert that into into a decimal so 0 0.015 remember we just move the decimal over 2 and then for 3 years we're just going to multiply by 3 and so 9000 multiplied by 0 0.015 multiplied by 3 gets us $405 so she would earn $405 the bank would pay her $405 for leaving that money in the account now how much will she have total 
after three years? Well, that is going to be the principal plus the interest. So in this case, 9000 plus that 405 And so she will have in the account $9,405. In this question, we read that TJ wants to invest $1,000 in an account that offers simple interest at a rate of 4% per annum over a time period of 21 months. Okay. Okay, 21 months. So now what we've done here is we played a little bit with the time. So it's still interest is equal to PRT. Our initial investment is 1,000. Our rate is 0 0.04. But now we're giving it to you in terms of months here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to convert this. Whoops. That's right. That's not what I want to write. I want to write 21. 21 months over 12 Okay, so there are, I mean, there are 12 months in a year. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the number of months and divide it by the number of months that should be in a year. Okay, and that's going to get me the amount of time that that's been there in terms of years. And when you multiply that through, you're going to get 70. And so now, now the question doesn't ask for it here, but now the total that he's going to have at that 21 month mark here is going to be 1,000 plus that extra $70, so $1,070 total. Now, in this one, we read that Damon wants to invest $800 in a simple interest account at a rate of 9% per uh, annum over a time of 39 weeks. So this one's, and again, we're playing with that time frame here. So our principal, multiplied by rate time here, so our principal is 800. Uh, our interest rate as a decimal is going to be 0 0.09. We just move the decimal over twice. And now it helps to know how many weeks there are in a year. So if I want to convert 39 weeks into a, into a, a number that represents the, the fraction of a year that we've got, well, I need to know that there are 52 weeks in a year. And if you multiply that out, actually, you get this really nice 54. $54 is the amount of interest we'll earn here. Now, how much is he going to have at the end here? Well, I think we can do this now a little bit quicker here. It's going to be principal plus uh, interest. Well, I know that that's 54, and I know from my question that that was 800, so it's going to be $854. In this question, we read that Rebecca is investing $1,100 in a simple interest account at a rate of 3.1% per annum over a course of 54 months. Okay, so now we're back to talking about uh, in terms of months here. How much is she going to have total in there after those that 54 months here? Well, in this case, I might even just start with my total. is going to be P plus I. So this will be $1,100 plus, and my interest will be $1,100 multiplied by the rate, 0 0.031, and then multiplied by my 54 over 12. Okay, So converting the number of months that I have into into a fraction of a year, which is an improper fraction because you've got you got more than a couple years there. Okay? Now when I put that whoops, when I put that all together and just enter that into my calculator, you're gonna see that you're gonna get uh, $1,253.45. And and now we can do the total in just one step. Just enter that all into your calculator and it'll just give you the whole the whole thing without having to go through the step of, of doing the interest first and then and then the, uh, adding the principal. All right, now with this question, we're going to play with things a little bit. It says here, Jamie earned $500 in simple interest when she invested an amount of money at 5% for four years. So how much did she invest? Okay, well here we're giving you, we're giving you the interest. So I put that there. What I don't know is the principal. That's what it's asking me for. But my rate is 0.05, okay, 5% for a year. And then it's in there for four years, okay? So what I'm going to do with my calculator here is I'm going to take, and I have to divide both sides by that bit right there. So I'm going to divide the left-hand side by 0 0.05 multiplied by 4. Now, I could multiply those together, okay? I don't really need to. I just let the calculator do the work. I'm going to divide by this number here. So it'll be 500 divided by. I just need to make sure that I put parentheses around that 0 0.05 multiplied by 4 there. So 0 0.05 multiplied by 4. Just so the calculator knows to do that calculation first. We divide. Oh, and we get that P 
was equal to 2500 So that's the amount of money that she invested originally. Okay, in this question with Grant here, we read that Grant earned $425 simple interest after investing 7500 in an account for 30 months. What was the annual interest rate? Okay, so similar sort of question to the one we just did, just it's a different thing that we don't know. So interest is equal to PRT, 425 is equal to 7,500. There's my P. I don't know R. And actually, this is going to be 30 over 12. Okay? Because you know what? I don't... I didn't give it to you in terms of years. I gave it to you in, in that sort of a, a weird fraction of a year. But it's basically the same thing. What I'm going to do here is, is divide that 425 by... Well, this is going to be 7,500 multiplied by 30 over 12. Okay. Remember, order doesn't matter with multiplication. So I can, I can move this 30 over 12 to the 7,500 and then take those together and divide that down. So on my calculator, that's ex exactly what I'll do. So 425 divided by, and in parentheses, 7,500 multiplied by 30 divided by 12. And then I'll close the the parentheses for the whole denominator. Ooh, and I get 0 0.023 when I round that to the nearest thousandth here, which means we're looking at approximately 2.3, actually it's approximately there, 2.3% per annum is how we read that. And for this last question that we're going to do, we read Megan invested $10,000 and earned $500 in simple interest. If she invested the money at 2.5% per annum, how long was her money invested for? Okay, so again, just a, another example of a, of a problem where we're, we're looking for something other than the interest here. So I is equal to PRT. We know that we got $500 in interest. The principal was 10000 We know that it was 2.5%, so 0 0.025. And what I don't know is the amount of time. And I'm hoping that works out to be like a, a nice value here. So I don't have to kind of convert it into months or weeks or whatever. So that'll be 10,000 multiplied by 0 0.025. Let the calculator handle the brunt of the work here. So 500 divided by, and in parentheses, 10,000 multiplied by 0 0.025. Oh, beautiful. Two. So what that means here is because my units are in years, that means it took two years to earn that $500 in interest.